right, so I'm here with uh, Dr. LK, even though she has uh, green fingers. Uh, yeah. And uh, what we're going to be doing... Don't ask in the comments why I have green fingers. Yeah, because it's... Well, uh, you can ask, and right. I might answer you. I might you answer might you. might answer you. So what we're doing today is basically taking apart a distributor, and we're going to replace the trigger with a brand new, very expensive, $400... Uh, trigger as you can see it's all nice and shiny so that is the purpose of today's video is how to take apart and reassemble a brand new trigger in a, in a distributor which I tell you what this is probably the most nightmare thing you can do with a distributor I have a friend down in uh, Florida Keys um, yeah I'll show the picture right here and uh, basically he's smiling with a broken uh, trigger which uh, I'm pretty sure that we would be crying but uh, we're still working with him so you know he's gonna get on plane he has a 140 original 1970 140 and uh, he's a great guy and uh, we're gonna get it done so so let's get started yeah. all right so now we have everything out of the box as you can see you have the four plate for the four four cylinder you have that to hook to the distributor six plate lock we have all the screwdrivers we need yeah, yes we do Okay, so this is for the this is a brand new uh, bearing for the top, and then you have to choose between these two, whichever one matches. And of course, you have your little bit of Loctite for that distributor. And also, you have this distributor cap, which uh, we already removed this. Um, if you don't know how to remove it, you just unbolt that little screw right there, and this pops everything down. So we're going to keep that out of focus because if you don't know how to remove a distributor cap, perhaps you should not be doing this. So. We're gonna get started on doing this and have Dr. LK do that too. All right, so Dr. LK is in the midst of operations, okay? So what we're gonna do is take a small screwdriver, okay? So when you're looking Dr. at- Stubby one. Looking at the uh, top of the distributor, there's uh, there's keys, there's two keyways here, and you gotta basically force them out. That way you can unscrew the top here. Okay, so we're gonna do that now. Where's the hammer? Right here. Okay, so you oh, gotta tap on that. It's the, it's the biggest hammer. Don't hit my hands. Alright, that one's good. And then the other side. This one should be perpendicular to. Perpendicular. I have no idea. But perpendicular, you gotta. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, just get the angle. Sorry. Yeah, better angle. Yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is all right. So now we're here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I was saying I'm right there. There you go. Straight down. All right. So now we're back with take uh, take twenty five. We're just trying to get the. Uh, Sorry that the camera loose. fell. The camera did fall. And, I did uh, not expect that to happen. We got one key loose. And you see I have this screwdriver here. We're going to lock the other key loose here. Just so we can screw the cap. Hold on, Ooh. hold on, hold on. I'll hammer as much as I want. Okay. Um, hammer right. time? Yep, hammer time. Hammer! Time! Alright, I, I think it's down. I think it's down. Okay, so now we're going to screw top of this. Whoa, that did get it loose. Really okay. loose. Okay, and you want to set all these in sequential orders. In just sequential to make things, orders. Just to make things just a little easier during reassembly. So we got the, the cap. Then we have two washers here. One's a lock washer and one's just a plain washer. Okay, so we're going to set those aside here. Two. Hey, wash the tools. Okay. All right. So now we just have a plain distributor here. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna use the uh, screwdrivers, not the hammer. Put the hammer aside. No. Know. It's not hammer time. All right. So now, I'll do it with hammer time. There is a, a a ball bearing right here. Uh, you see it right there. That you need to knock out with a hammer. No, no hammer. Okay. So you we gotta push that up. With a hammer. No. Push it up. Not with the hammer. Okay, that's one. Let's go to the other side. Okay. 
push it all the way up. Oop, there you go. Okay, so now that it's, now that it's cleared, a little secret, little jack here. So this is going to get replaced. Well, that's oily. Completely. Yep, and that's oily. And all I right. still have green fingers. All right, so that's out. So now we're at the toughest part, which is the... Um, the nut right here and this this thing can be a pain in the butt so we're going to get to that okay we're back take 27. take 20 okay. million so we have the nut here this, uh, this one is usually the toughest to remove and uh, the book actually recommends that you do this and i do too because what you have to do is use the fork of the drill to actually get that undone so what i'm going to have Dr. LK do is pull the trigger. Hold on, hold on, wrong way. Hold on, hold on. Your mother's here, good job. I know, I'm already right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> is that too much power? Hold on, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, I, oh, I saw you. Rudder, are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Here. Oh my gosh, okay, so we have a problem with moving Mother. the rotor, and you have to be careful because this is plastic, so, let me, let me try, you do it, I'm out, there we go, alright, it's off, it's off, That's a very important screw. It's very difficult to get off, as you can see. Okay, right, so now we're going to start with the disassembly. Hammer time? No, not hammer time. All right, so now we're going to start with the disassembly of the time. distributor. Okay. All right, so you, are you here? You're live? Are we recording? Yes, we are. Okay. All right, so now, with everything I mean loose. This. This should just pop off. Oh, yeah. It's Slide off. Whoa, that's so oily. I know, let's do the sugar here. It needs to be oily. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pull that out. Set that aside. Do we and have to re oil this afterwards so it can still work? Probably. And that's gonna come off. Oh, that's the part that we got. Okay, so and now we part. got the but rotor. That's not the old part. And you. this is that. Yep. So and the rest goes in somewhere. needs to pop out, so we're going to use a rubber mallet. Hammer? Not the hammer, the rubber mallet. Because okay, it's still yeah, technically yeah. kind of hammer time. Okay, Mass so. time. Okay, you ready? Ready, steady, and go, go, go. Okay, so You're now ready. we got the rotor out. All right, pull the rotor out. Now we so got the oily. old disc. Now anytime you saw on a new CDI, you want to use a stainless steel disc. So this disc is no longer... This is no longer no good, so we're gonna set that to the side. This is the disc that you want. You want to put in rotor side, right there. I want Everything's to do another labeled. hammer time. Okay, and then we got this one. So let's match up. We have two different types here. Just gonna match up which one matches, and it looks like. Oh man, this is not. <laughs> All right, which one is this one? That's not this one more to me. It's this one. Yeah, I told Okay, you. so this one matches. Okay. All right, so now what we have here is just uh, basically the uh, faulty uh, trigger. Okay? So you, you're looking at it right now. It's so oily okay. and old. Yep, it is oily and old, and we are about, to, we are about to hit hammer time because oh, we have to get time. the spring out of there Ready for right now. Hand. Yep. Don't hit my hand. <laughs> Get out of there! Hammer. Don't hit my hands. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Okay. All right, so we finally got this out after banging it with a sledgehammer, but oh uh, yeah, sledgehammer. This is a spring. It. Okay, so you have to put this onto the. You're gonna use the old spring. No, no, yeah, the old spring. Cause you couldn't afford a new one. <laughs> so oily. Why do you put me on blast? Uh, we're on. We're, we're live. Okay. Don't put me on blast. We're on live. We're live. Live. And we're live. Okay. So that goes. Oh, that 
that roof. Into there. All right, so now we're putting the, the old spring onto the new distributor. Which you have to line up the uh, cap there and then tap this down into this hole here, which and despite all the grease is not going very swimmingly, so we're going to gently secondary spring installed which took uh, a little bit of effort. So just to make sure it's snug. Yeah. Right, just to make sure that the bat's on that side. I'm done that up a little bit. So it's okay. There's a ring that goes around that. Okay, so now we're gonna put the distributor back Do together oh, with the working trigger. Alright, so this is actually keyed for the rotor side, so what we're going to do, as you can see, the key matches up with that, that, that. We're going to put the rotor in first. It has to it has to be this rotor and not the old rotor because, you know, it won't work. Okay, so oh. before we put that in, let's put this in here first. There's already a new bearing in there. I'm going to put that in. That's going to center it. And then we got the rotor side up. Now we're putting the rotor in. We're going to line up the keyholes. So now that we have the rotor installed, we're going to put the uh, tangs on there. And, uh, Don't we have to oil that it? That has to line up with that. You know, there's plenty of oil. So this is the secondary. This is the biggest spring right here. So that has to line up with that. And then push that down. lined up. Alright, so now we're going to put this rotor in here, which might take some figuring out to do, which has a bunch of crap on it from the table. So now we have the new uh, ball bearings here, and then we have this right here, which we're going to put the Loctite on, so we can lock it into place. Okay, so now we have the uh, Loctite that came with the uh, new uh, trigger, okay, and we're going to put this around the nut here, which is the 19 metric, just to make sure it sticks. Okay, so now we're putting this on here, and then we're going to tighten it up with the 19 metric, just to make sure the rotor is tight. Okay, and so we have Dr. LK. Yes, I am what? Turn this. Okay, so let me get the uh, towel to make sure everything's tight. Okay, alright, you ready? You're going to turn it that way. Can you turn it this way? Mm hmm Well, it's hard. That was hard. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so that's all back together. Okay, so we're almost done with the assembly of the uh, trigger. Okay, he's watching it all. Okay, so now we have the new. This is the brand new, um, the brand new ball bearings. We're gonna put these on.
Just slide right down on there. Perfect fit. And then we have the uh, washers that pin the top up. There's two of them. Right here. Goes here. Okay. And then we put this piece on top. Oh, hold on. Trouble in paradise. We're going to paradise? No, trouble in paradise. <laughs> but we're not even in paradise. You know what? I don't appreciate your negative things. <laughs> Dr. LK. I just love you, baby. Okay. So now I'm gonna try it just a little bit more so I can lock down the secondary washer. <sighs> Okay, so now we have a should have a fully functioning distributor, which of course we're going to test just because that's how we roll. Alright, so we got everything together. I got the switch box here, everything probably grounded. There's a coil, there's a brand new trigger from CDI, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and test it. And uh, we're going to power it up and turn off the lights. Alright, so we're videotaping. Hi. We're Dr. LK. Bye. Alright, so we got everything hooked up and everything grounded. We got the brand new uh, CDI trigger here. So what we're going to do is turn this. You can see that is a magnificent spark. So now we have a fully functioning distributor. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, just put in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, YouTube doesn't always alert me of uh, when things are, questions are asked. So I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Hey, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching.